Hi, I'm Kwai Chi and this is the review of the Simple Human 38 litre rectangular step can. Now this is a sight to behold. I know it's just a bin, but this is no ordinary bin. This is the coolest bin I've ever had. So, what's so cool about it? Well, for a start, the step is one single metal piece at the base of the can. Now I've had lots of cheap bins where uh, it's just a single rod from the step pedal to activate the lid. This is fundamentally what makes a really solid bin, is having a big metal base. Not only that, uh, but if this uh, dies for any reason, you can get a replacement for it from the Simple Human website with no trouble at all. Around the back. We have a carry handle for a bin. I know it doesn't sound amazing, but it makes a difference. Now, when I turned this round just now, you heard it jutter a bit, and that's because it's got rubber feet. Again, so it doesn't move. I'm trying to move it quite a lot, and it doesn't really move. Another magical thing is this little thing, which is the Simple Human Dampener. Uh, and this basically is the mechanism to allow the lid to soft close. It's very clever, I'll show it now. So, I step on the pedal, it opens up, and it closes softly. Now, I have a recycle bin which is not soft close and not made by Simple Human. And since I've had this trash can, or bin, kitchen bin, I have found myself hitting the pedal, like I do on this one, to get rid of my trash. And uh, the lid has just slammed every time because I've got so used to the lid just closing really by itself without me having to try and control the foot action to try and manipulate it in any way. So absolutely fantastic. You may have noticed you can buy accessories for this thing like this charcoal filter. So I've bought that uh, in addition to this bin. Uh, inside the bin itself is a opening lock like that to keep the bin lid open. The bucket that comes out can sit on a rest like so. And it has a hole at the back of the bin bucket which allows me to feed through my bin liner. So let's take this out and have a look at the inside. This is where the magic happens. So uh, I was saying that there was a rod before in most bins. In this one there are two rods uh, to activate the lid so there's more even distribution throughout the bin. And there's this kind of pointy up thing. That's the thing that allows the bucket to just sit up by itself, uh, making it easy for you to take the bin line out when it's full uh, or to put a new one in. So I've got this up like so. It can take these uh, J size uh, simple human bin liners. These are really expensive. Instead, I use my uh, big white bags that you can buy from the supermarket or from Costco. And these work just as well and are far, far cheaper. We're in a recession, don't you know? Or we might not be by the time you watch this video. So, open up the bin liner, I'll wrap it round the front, wrap it round the back, and then just gather the entire bin liner by feeding it through the hole at the back of the bin. So, I'll just show you here. There's the feed hole and you can just gather any excess bin liner into that hole. And it's as simple as that. Now the bin just slots in. 
There's space for your hands as well at the side, just here. So you take the bucket in and out. Absolutely fantastic. And the bin is ready to use. Once you start putting stuff in here, it will just start lining the bin. Take the lock off and again, it just soft closes. Look at that, not a sound. That is what I call a bin to be admired. This is a simple human 38 litre rectangular step can. For me, the very best that money can buy. It's expensive, but hell, if you've got it, buy it. Seriously, it will change your kitchen life. I'm Kwai Chi, until next time, take care.